Hi, darlings. This is going to be for my Sagittarius. And this is going to be for the week of the 12th through the 19th of February. I hope you guys are doing well and taking care of yourself. And believing in yourself. And practicing self-care. So Sagittarius, this is for you. And I'm not sure if I did this, but the cards that I'm using are going to be my Cosmic Tarot deck. And to clarify, it's going to be my tarot with keywords. So Sagittarius, this is for you. The Empress, grounded, nurturing, having your own. The Princess of Wands, past energy, young and fiery, you. Yes, young Sagittarius. The Ten of Wands, whatever you're going through right now, you will come out of. The Two of Cups, love, current energy. The Seven of Swords. Who told you a lie? The Three of Wands. Just be patient, darling. You will know everything you need to know soon. You will know it. The Nine of Wands. What are you trying to put behind you, darlings? The Queen of Swords. This is, um, this could be a Gemini. This could be a Gemini, a Libra, or an Aquarius. This person communicates. They're very direct and upfront. And sometimes their communication comes over as really harsh, but they don't, it's not their intention. It's just the way they are. Um, this person may communicate something to you that has to do with the past. And it might have to do with some kind of love. That's the Three of Cups. So let's see the Empress. What's going on, Sagittarius? On top of the Empress came the Queen of Swords. Again, this could be a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius. Um, they're going to probably give you some information. Um, they're very direct, like I said. But they're very clear-minded and they're very perceptive. And if they give you advice, it's advice to help you. Or it could be you thinking about communicating with someone. That might have broken your heart in the past. I got the three of swords. Let's talk about it like that. It could be you trying to communicate or thinking about communicating because the queen is the thinkers or the queens are the thinkers and the kings are the action. So that's how we'll, that's how I, I like that one. I like that when you're thinking about communicating with someone who broke your heart. And then the Empress, again, abundance, nurturing, fertility. 
you're experiencing new life. Are you pregnant? It says it may be in the form of pregnancy, romance, or business. So it could be a new beginning in either way. So for each of you or some of you, it will resonate in a different way. You know, I don't, you know, I'm, it's general, you know, and it's however it resonates with you. That's why I give you different kind of little scenarios, you know. See, the Princess of Wands, Young Fiery Sagittarius, the Five of Cups. In the past, you suffered a big break, heartbreak, perhaps a divorce, breakup, abandonment, or bereavement. With all the negative connotations that this card can bring, there is a positive message that no matter how dire your situation, there's always a silver lining. You just need to choose to see it. Please remember that. Because you know sometimes you Sagittarius can be in your head. And when you love, you love really deep and really hard and strong. So, the Page of Wands. You're going to have some new ideas. Probably new ideas. Um, mm, new ideas that's going to give you excitement. Things that's going to light your fire. You know, maybe that's why the Princess of Wands is there. Because it's a young kind of, you know, energy. And darling, you're the magician. I mean, I don't know what you're playing at, my darlings. Okay? You are the magician. Anything you choose to create, you can create. Just got to believe in you. Don't lose, don't lose sight of the prize. No, don't do that. Don't you lose sight of your goals and your dreams. Keep them there and go after them. The Ten of Wands, whatever you're going through, you're coming out of, there's a new beginning at store for, in store for you. And the Ace of Pentacles, this new beginning might have to do with money, a new beginning where finances are concerned. New career or a new financial opportunity, a new venture, it will give you prosperity. And there, and then came the Page of Swords. <laughs> it's gonna, you're going to have a lot of new ideas where this is concerned. You're going to figure it out and you're going to keep your eye on the prize. And then the two cups. Unified love. True love. A really good relationship. <clears throat> the nine of swords. This love is making you worry. Why are you worried about this love? It's giving you a little anxiety or maybe a lot of anxiety and fear because this is the Nine of Swords. It's card, the card says fear is an awful thing and it's difficult to reach out for help when it hits. Don't hide when you're stricken with grief or sadness. Sharing trauma or stress with others can be therapeutic and can help you to regain, regain con control. <laughs> it... And can help you to regain control over what troubles you. So if you're in this kind of mindset and you're worrying and you have some fears, just make sure you talk to the right person, okay? Because, you know, there are some people who they, they you know, you tell them something and they it makes them kind of, they're gleeful, you know, they're happy, you know, that you're going through this. So just pick and choose who you tell what to. The Page of Pentacles. You're manifesting, you're manifesting finances. Yeah, stop worrying. Things will fall into place, okay? Things will fall into place for you. You just got to keep your eye on the prize. And the two of wands, you're planning it. You're figuring it out. You probably got plans. You probably got you a whole thing written out. And the seven of swords, what is the seven of swords about? Who lied? My dog is dreaming. That's his tail wagging. <laughs> the Seven of Swords. Ah, right 
right now this feeling or whatever happened here this betrayal um makes you feel you got the mindset of lack right now it could have been some kind of financial loss that you went through or it could just be a lack of faith in self hmm. you're feeling lonely and you're fearful. You got to get out of this mindset. The five of pentacles is just temporary. Okay. Don't stay in that feeling too long. Please. Because once you get out of it, here comes the two of cups again. Unified love. So maybe this, this lie or betrayal or whatever it is that you went through with the relationship. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't that major. Maybe it had something to do with money. But there's some kind of connection that you do have with this individual. And then here came the Five of Swords. Conflict. Disagreements. You don't have to win at all costs, okay? My fiery Sagittarius. You need to be patient. The Three of Wands. Just be patient, man. Things are going to fall into place. I mean, of course, go after your dreams. I'm not saying to sit in your butt and make things happen, right? And once you're patient, darling, your wishes are going to come true. This is the Nine of Cups. You've struggled with finding purpose and comfort after a loss. This journey has long, has been long and ardor, A-R-D-O-U, Yes, Ardeus. I can't pronounce it. Ardeus. I think that's how you say it. But you're, you finally reached a point where you're feeling joy again. Profound happiness is in your future. Now is a great time to choose any dream you've had. Remember, Buddha is a magician. You're the magician, okay? And the Seven of Swords again. Somebody, you think somebody's coming and trying and steal your happiness. There might be some haters around, but don't feed into them. Don't give them your energy. Do not give them your energy. And the Ace of Wands, you're going to have a new project, darlings. You hear me? There's something new coming for you. There's something new. You just got to keep your eye on the prize and do not worry about anyone. Do what you do. Okay, of course, do it with good intentions. Don't do things with greed. Just do it and you will see things happen. You'll see magic. So the nine of wands, let's see what is happening here. Nine of wands or maybe this is something, hmm. Something coming towards you. That you're putting your defenses up. This is the Ten of Cups on top of this. Divine love, harmony. Why are you putting your... Shield up. So divine love, harmony, this is the Ten of Cups that came on top of that. Because right after that came the Hierophant. And I always say this is the marriage card or this is the contract card. Whichever it is, whether it's about love or business, it is binding. All right? It is binding. And you're going to find your inner strength, darling. I got the inner strength card here. You got a lot of passion. You, you're persistent. You know what you want. You just got to get it. You just got to get it. Go in there and get it out. Get it out. Bring your courage out. And the Queen of Swords. I don't read my cards upside down. Well, there's some decks that I may, it depends on how I feel, but this is the nine of pentacles here. Your work, the hard work that you're going to be doing and the things that whatever it is that you're planning, you're going to start seeing the fruits of your labor. Okay. It's telling you that it's okay to indulge, indulge and pamper yourself. 
you're close to the pinnacle of an achievement if it hasn't been realized already. So you might have already realized this. And the high priestess, darlings, you need to use your intuition. You hear me? Your intuition will guide you. You don't need to hear from anybody else or get anybody else approval. You know, if you know your plan, I'm sure, I mean, Sagittarius, go after your plan. Trust yourself, okay? Trust you. And of course, if you're in a partnership, you know, of course, discuss it with that person. And here's the King of Pentacles. You need to use your intuition where this King of Pentacles is. Now, this could be a Virgo. This could be a Capricorn or this could be a Taurus. This person does have money around them. Um, they could be a wealthy businessman or they know how to make the money. The money comes. It could be whatever it is um, that they do. Um, also, they have great leadership styles and they're very secure and very protective. They're also generous so with this hair and your intuition this might be an energy in your life your virgo and the three of cups it might be someone who you're in love with i got the moon here mm, the moon is telling you that things may, may not be as they seem trust your instincts to see past these illusions you may also be experiencing mood swings um, dormant insecurities or instability. If you are waiting for an answer, then be prepared to wait a little longer. And right after that came the emperor. You are in control, you hear me? And your hard work has brought you great rewards. You will find yourself taking on new responsibilities. Now is a great time to take on projects or hobbies requiring more mental fortitude and the nine of wands you still keep going no matter how many times you got knocked down you still kept going you picked yourself up every single time okay but there's a lesson that you might be missing because of how many times you've picked yourself up because it seems like something that keeps happening. So I need you to look at that and think about that for a little while. This is the Nine of Wands here. So the Nine of Wands also encourages you to keep pushing. You have a support system. Trust in yourself and take help where or when it's offered. All right. I love you guys. You take care of yourself. All right. And I will see you soon. Bye.